Okay, so this will be the final video we're going to put on the finishing touches. So before we mount our roof that we completed in the last video, let's go ahead and mount our little um, side um, sections. So you have a two on your wall and a three and so what you're going to want to do is find the corresponding number for i got paint all over my hands find the corresponding number on your um on your little box and you're going to glue it on the bottom on the dot and also on the back so being very careful when you go to glue it you want to make sure that it lines up right with the wall so that there's no, uh, you can't see the white kind of behind it. Um, and so you're going to glue those two on. Okay, so I have my two sides glued on. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fold um, the tabs down and in so that you can attach the roof to those, uh, to those sides. Okay, so fold your little tabs at the top of your little box there. Um, this is really an exercise in patience, just making sure that it all, you know, it's not something you can rush and do correctly. Okay, so now we're ready to, um, we're ready to do our, um, our uh, roof, sorry brain struggle there okay so what I find is the easiest thing to do is to um, put glue inside here run you some glue kind of along uh, the sides inside in here just like a really thin layer again you never want to use too much glue because it um, is not good um, it's too glue, too much glue would make a mess. But what you're going to want to do is it's almost impossible for you to put glue on the tabs that need to go underneath. So it's always easier, in my opinion, to put the glue inside here. What you're going to want to do is to glue your roof a little bit at a time so that you're tucking those tabs in and underneath the roof so they cannot be seen. So taking your time and really kind of working your way around very slowly, making sure that your top is tucked underneath and that none of those tabs are showing, okay? So glue inside here, work it around slowly around your top, and then we'll continue from there. Okay, so now I have my roof uh, glued into place and I can come back and touch up um, any little parts where some white is showing uh, there because it's, you know, it's almost this paper so it's almost impossible to get it absolutely perfect and glued perfectly. But if you've got a basic shape in, once you get done, you can get, um, get some shaping done with it if you use a Q-tip and uh, the stick. Okay, so now we have two parts left. We have the roofs for the um, side sections here, and then we have the stage roof. Let's do that one next. Okay, so I have my stage roof, and when I have it cut out, it looks uh, like this. And so what let's do first is let's go ahead and fold on all of our um, major lines, our major crease lines. So I'm actually going to um, just fold the roof uh, down the center so that it makes the roof shape. Okay, um, and then I'm going to fold the front part forward on that line as well. So I'm just kind of building my roof as I go. You'll notice that I have a little tab here. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue and then I'm gonna fold that in so that it makes a nice tucked shape like this. Okay, so we're gonna, we can glue that tab into place as well. And then on the back side here, you have several little, um, let me turn it, well, I'm going to get the hang of this in just a second. Uh, 
you have several little tabs that are sticking off of the the back part you have this nice little tail so you want to make sure that you leave that you don't fold that out go ahead and fold your tabs in here um, and here with the little weird tiny tiny little tab it does play a role so you'll see in a little bit okay and then the tail itself has a kind of um, a fold in it um, and you're not going to be able it's kind of hard because it's paper it's, you're not going to be able to get that quite right but it kind of folds um, now see if I can turn it in the way that you can see it it kind of folds just kind of back and down and you'll see what that's for in just a little bit okay so glue the pitch of your roof so that it makes the nice little pitch like that Okay, and then um, we're gonna go from there in just one second. Let me glue it really quick. Okay, so I've got my roof um, glued in uh, in the right in the correct shape. Look down inside of your um, inside of your globe, and you'll see right there on the front of your stage this way. There are two little dots on the front of the stage. This is the trickiest gluing of the entire thing. Okay, those two little dots correspond with the two front ends of your stage, the poles, the um, pil pillars that hold it up. So you want to glue that part. Um, you want to make sure that you get just the tiniest bit of glue, like very thin um, on that so that the glue doesn't run out into your, especially if you're using marker because glue tends to make, um, make it smear. I have smeared marker paint all over me. So, and, you, and it does, it smears inside your thing. So, basically this shape is going to, okay, it's going to go... The tab, I just had it perfect and I dropped it. The tabs, the little dotted tabs on the back are going to glue against your roof, okay? So they're going to glue against your roof and the little tail part that we folded actually just goes right outside. It fits perfectly if you've cut it out correctly. It fits perfectly over um, and it with and doesn't leave any overhang on the on the back okay so once you get it glued into place it should kind of just tuck right over the back like that and you're going to glue it down then I would do that part first okay glue the back part first then go in and put your glue on your two little dots for your stage and glue them one at a time using your stick so that you get it nice and uh, connected okay because it's really fragile you don't want to tear those so do that and then we'll come back for the last step so if you've done it correctly mine's actually just come undone put that back together real quick it's definitely an exercise in patience um, and uh, not getting in a hurry and taking your time but it's so satisfying to watch it kind of come together even though it's a little time consuming it's nice and satisfying when it all works out correctly okay so the last step okay the last step we have are the roofs roofs for our um, small pieces so that's those last little two um, little squares with the two tabs. So this one's pretty simple. Nice little crease down the middle for a good fold. And then you're going to want to fold those tabs back um, so that you can attach that roof to your tops of this. Okay, so a little glue on each of those dots. A little glue on the back two tabs and then you're going to set the roof on its nice little pitch you're going to set the roof on the um, top and glue it to not only the two tabs but also press the two back tabs into the the main part of the roof 
Okay, so then you've got your two little roofs in place. Um, nice and neat and orderly and then what I would do is take the end of your stick and kind of just work around make sure that everything is glued together well and that you didn't miss anything it can help with your overall shaping um, shaping it into place and making sure everything is glued down and then you have your finished globe theater model um, it's definitely time consuming, but it's worth it to see it all come together in the end.